A couple days ago, someone on Twitter called Roger Badgerman was tweeting about the fact that now voting will be happening either through the launcher or through Minecraft Bedrock itself. But because he wasn't a deb or affiliated with Minecraft in any way, it was kind of hard to believe whether or not he was telling the truth until the early hours of this morning for me because now inside of Minecraft Preview, as we can see on the left side of the screen, we can see Minecraft now on the bottom of the screen. So basically, if you're not sure what's actually... Wait a minute. There's a chunk not loaded in the background. Huh. Anyways, in case you're not familiar with what's actually happening, from this point forward, it seems as though voting will be taking place on Bedrock Edition or through possibly Java Edition or the launcher. And as of right now, they are beta testing in with Minecraft now, as we can see, obviously, with it starting uh, relatively soon as we're recording this. So in case you weren't the biggest fan of voting on Twitter or anything like that, now we have a much better way of actually doing it through Minecraft itself, which should hopefully allow voting to be much more fair and precise, because unless you have multiple Microsoft accounts connected to Minecraft, Craft, it's gonna be very hard to vote more than once. Oh, and I, I wasn't expecting this, but apparently there's a server you could join too, and alright, might as well check out see what that's like. Okay, okay, this is a very laggy server, but it's a very interesting server too. Hmm. Okay, chat is currently disabled, that's fine, but let, let's have a look around. And I love how they mimic the end and the nether to match the wither and the and the ender dragon. Like that that that's a good touch. That's a good touch. Ooh, and I didn't even see this. this. This is a cool build. That's a cool build. But to the matter of voting, uh, honestly, probably the Wither. I mean, it the, the, the Wither has so much more going for it. And the Ender Dragon, it's interesting the dimension it's in. Like, the dimension has a lot going for it. But the Nether has so much more going for it. All along with the, the Wither. Like, seriously, the Wither, it can spawn in uh, Wither Skeletons. It can, like, blow things up. It has so much going for it. And the Ender Dragon, it's... It's pretty easy, honestly. It's it's a really easy fight. But honestly, this is giving me some serious vibes of like the old uh, Battle Legacy Console Edition minigame lobby. Like, I don't know. I don't. I, I, am I the only one getting that vibe, or is it is it just like you know? Is that the thing they were going for? I have no words for what's happening here. I literally have no words for what's happening here. The non-long-necked Enderman, I guess, if if you want to call it that. This is the weirdest thing. This is so weird. <laughs> is it for the just out? Nope, it's for every single Enderman. Um, hmm. Well, seems though, lobbies, you know, they always have their issues, and that seems to be one of them. Does it do the same thing for Wither Skeletons? Uh, kind of. Just not, not, as, not as severe as the Enderman, but, but still a little bit. But to put it simply, yeah, there's a new way of voting, at least for the Minecraft Now ones that's happening today. There's this new lobby. No idea if there's going to be more in the future. And in case you're bummed out that there's one less reason to use Twitter, then, I don't know, I'm, I'm always there. Link down below. And in case Twitter's not a thing, then, you know, I also have a Discord. But yeah, to put it simply, this is an absolute game changer for the other way we're going to be voting in the future. Which also means the stands and the bots will no longer be able to win the voting. And we gotta see that as an absolute win at least.